I was raised by my second cousins, which I consider my mom. She, they raised me from pretty much day one. I don't know my biological parents at all. It kind of clicked when I transitioned into foster care. Um, being transitioned into foster care, I wasn't, you know, a clueless child, I will say. I was aware that, because it, it was my decision, I have to say yay or nay to go to foster care. When you can speak and talk and understand what's going on, you have to say yay or nay. Um, and going to foster care, you know, they ask you, you know, do you understand what's going on? Yes, I do. Why am I going to foster care? I didn't ask my foster mom, why am I in foster care? I just learned to understand it in my own mind. I think you, there's a certain point where you learn to create who you are and you are gonna be who you are. And I think for me, I did it at a young age while some people might grasp it at, you know, their early teens, their later teens. So again, I joined the Marine Corps in 2007, um, reasoning just to experience war, just to get away from the city that I lived in and just, you know, find a sense of just who I am. And I felt I, felt I would learn all that in the Marine Corps. You know, 11 Marines or 10 Marines went in, three Afghan National Army. I had my June Marine at the door and I, me and him were holding outer security because everyone went inside, so they have internal security. And I didn't like the setup that we were in, so I was like, hey, I moved him kind of more in the doorway to give him more cover. Um, that way he can see everything but without being vulnerable. And I was like, hey, I'll be right back. Again, this is a hallway, a narrow hallway, and I took three steps into this room. The ID went off. So when that happened, you know, it was kind of a quick alteration of how I viewed life it was just like it could end now it could not end now but there was instant uh regret not necessarily regret but I will use the word regret of I wish I did these certain things in life and I wish I wasn't this type of shy kid and I wish I did or said these things immediately as I'm laying there not knowing if I'm gonna live or die um um not telling my mom I love her more. I felt like I could have told her I loved her more because it wasn't necessarily just like I didn't hate her, I didn't do it, nothing like that, nothing in a negative sense. Just I felt like I could have said a lot more than what I did. And then I think it's just other than that, it was just, you know, I grew up very shy, just very to myself, very introverted. And I kind of wish I did a lot more things and experienced a lot more. Uh, you know, as I felt when I was laying, I was kind of felt like I turned down a lot more to be by myself rather than experience a lot more of a life. So those are the two things that I can remember right now that I regret it in a sense. Do you still regret those things? No, because I tell my mom I love her every time I hear it talk to her and then I mean I've done more in my life now than I would have ever done not being blown up so it's a very like it's a very life altering because at this point I've climbed the highest mountain in Antarctica I've competed against the fastest people in the Paralympic on the track I've ran a marathon I've done multiple runs I've inspired many people done a lot more in the last five years than I did my whole life combined.